All right, y'all, we back with another one, YouTube. If you're watching this video, man, you're probably gonna see this beautiful holster right here in my next few videos, because we're just gonna be chopping it up, touching up on some topics that I've been seeing a lot of my uh, <clears throat> a lot of my fellow um, gun tubers touching up on. Shout out to my bro, uh, 2A Citizens, Citizen to a Citizen, man, check his channel out. Um, he's the most recent one that I've seen touching up on this topic, so I figured I'd piggy bank off it because I'm, <clears throat> excuse me, I made a video uh, way back when I first started YouTubing. If you guys want to check that out, I think it's my first upload ever. Horrible video. Um, I was super shy in that video, not really comfortable with talking and being on camera. So that video was just a big dub, you know. But at the end of the day, you know, it was my first video. So I don't knock it because it was just me trying to get myself out there and trying to, you know, practice how it was, you know, how it is to be on camera and talk to you guys and things like that. Obviously, fast forward. Almost two years later, we're here now, and I'm still uploading, so I guess I could say it was a good experience and worth the try, but nonetheless, I did make a video about this way back, so I want to kind of retouch up on it because I feel like it's always a topic going around about whether or not you should carry with a round in the chamber, um, and that, that's a big debate that goes around. A lot of people agree with it. A lot of people don't, um, you know, but in all honesty... The only answer I can give y'all, me personally, is from my experience, and I feel like anybody else who makes a video about this or has asked this question is going to probably give y'all their best answer based on their experience because everyone's experience is different. You know, I haven't been carrying that long. Um, I've been experienced with guns on and off for the last couple of years, um, you know, for a while, actually, but I didn't really start taking it serious until about a few years back, maybe about a good three, a little over three years now that I actually been really getting into guns and taking it really serious and, you know, carrying and, you know, getting a concealed carry permit and all of that stuff like that. So um, I had to educate myself on it, basically, when I first started. Um, I've seen a lot of different people talk about this stuff and they basically, you know, every, like I said, everybody's experience is different. So, you know, um, what it is is that some people might take longer to get comfortable with carrying with one in the head, one in the pipe, one in the chamber. Everybody calls it differently, you know. Um, but I carry with one in the head all the time, um, especially when I'm out with the family because I feel like it's a necessity, man. That's the whole point of carrying a gun. Like I heard someone say before, if you're carrying with a gun with no round in the chamber, then you just got a handgun. And if you know, you know. Um, I don't know if it was supposed to be a joke or not, but I mean, I found it a little bit humorous because at the end of the day, it's the truth. I mean, what are you going to do if somebody comes up to you with a gun and you don't have, you already might not have enough reaction time. And then if you have, if you need that extra few seconds to take out, to draw, guess what? You don't have a round on the chamber. So now you're going to need an extra few seconds and those extra few seconds can cost you your life or someone else's or you know, could even be worse, you know, especially if someone's life is on the line, your life is on the line, you know, it could be a lot of different situations where something like that could happen. And I know we always talk about these hypothetical situations, but not all of us watch a lot of movies and think that our life is going to be based on a movie. It's not because of that. Yeah, we love action movies. Most gun people love action movies and things like that. I know I do, um, but I don't base my life off of movies. You know, I've had real life experiences that I won't talk about on camera, but you know, it's not anything, you know, that's like out of the ordinary. You know, everybody has experiences with getting robbed or getting into things like that. And honestly, I've been through real life situations where guns were involved, you know. I won't speak about it in detail on this video. Maybe I can make another video about that and talk about it, but you know, people always make it seem like things will never take place because you carry a gun they look at you, people who are against guns might look at you like, oh, you know, well, you over exaggerating carrying a gun because nine times out of 10, nothing might ever happen. And that's a good thing. You know, we don't want anything to happen. But like, like I always say, it's better to be prepared and have something than to not have it. And then you need it. You know, I always go off of that because it's true. Something happens and then you end up needing a tool that you don't have to help out your situation or defend yourself. And then you end up needing that tool and that could be the biggest mistake of your life, which is why I started carrying because I feel like, you know, crime rates are off the chain in all the inner cities, you know, um, a lot of stuff just taking place always, you know, and you have to be prepared. So carrying with one in the head, yeah, it could be a little nerve wracking. Um, I've done it. Um, 
it didn't take long for me. Me personally, I started carrying with one on the head, like maybe like after like two days of carrying. I might've carried like the first day with just the gun holstered with no round on the chamber. And that was it. Once I picked up my CCW, um, that was pretty much it. Like I, I didn't, I didn't take long for me to get to get comfortable with it because it was so much going on that I was like, listen, at the end of the day, I've got a better chance of getting into something and shooting someone in self-defense than shooting myself because I already know better with the trigger discipline. So I've always been pretty disciplined with the trigger even before I started taking guns like really seriously. Um, but everyone's different. Everyone's experience is different. Some people don't really get experience until they really, really start taking it serious. But I've already had experience with firearms prior to that. So I always knew the basics, like keeping your finger off the trigger, never pointing a gun at someone. Those are common things that I was taught as a kid, you know, and at the end of the day, it's important because it helped me as I got older and I got my license to carry and things like that. Um, you know, it was it was easier for me to um, to be able to carry with one in the head and, and know the, the basic safety firearm rules, you know, so um, honestly, like I said, everyone's experience is going to be different, but um, you know, it just takes time. It takes practice, you know, dry fire a little bit, pull that trigger, you know, obviously with, you know, dummy rounds or nothing in the in the mag, you know, um, put out the mag in even if you want. Like, there's a lot of different ways you can practice drawing from the hip, you know, pointing the gun in the safe direction and things like that. Um, there's a lot of different things you could do to kind of get yourself comfortable with the gun to the point that when you're carrying it, you're not so scared of it because you have a loaded round. You know, you're looking at it more as a tool, something to kind of just protect you, or not kind of, something that could protect you and your family and potentially save lives if something was to ever happen. Because look at all the stuff that's going on now. Like I said, crime rates are through the roof, mass shootings everywhere, and people always think things can't happen in their city or in their state. We all think that until it happens to you or you get put in a situation where you have to react to something like that, you know, or better yet take care or, or be able to save your family and get them to cover, you know, cause that's going to be your first priority. But those are the things you have to ask yourself when you're ready to start carrying, you know, and think about the benefits it is. If you practice safety, you don't have to worry about shooting yourself. You know, you just have to really get down with being safe and, and practicing it. You know, I'm telling you, if you do that, it'll help a lot with being able to carry around chamber and also having your gun holster, you know, and also getting a good holster like this will be good. You don't need to get this specific holster. There's a bunch of holsters out there. Trigger guards, you know, guns covered, it's holstered properly. You know, there's no way you can access the trigger unless that gun is fully drawn and presented. So at the end of the day, you don't have to worry about shooting yourself like Cheddar Bob or anything like that, you know, because a lot of people will see 8 Mile and they, they got scared, you know, but at the end of the day, he did that to himself. He pulled the trigger while putting a gun in his pants, back in his waistband, not being safe, you know. So once again, you know, movies can teach you a valuable lesson. You know, a lot of people look at movies as fiction, but it's not always like that. You know, Cheddar Bob taught everybody a, a valuable lesson, man. Like, don't do that. Don't put your don't put your gun back in your in your waistband if you don't have a holster, or also if that trigger is not guarded. If you don't have some type of trigger guard on your gun, like a holster with a trigger guard, then chances are, yeah, if you have a load around, then yeah, you know, you probably are gonna shoot yourself. Um, you know, there's a lot of instances I've seen like that. I've seen a lot of articles like that. People shooting themselves in public because their gun's not holstered properly. So that's one of the main things you want to work on also. Getting a good holster, practicing trigger discipline, practicing all the safety rules of having firearms. Basic firearm rules, man. It's super easy to get them down packed. Um, all these things will help you with being able to get comfortable with the firearm, which will lead to you being able to carry safely with a round in the chamber, and just always treating that gun like it's loaded. Whether it's a round in the chamber, one in the pipe, or not, it'll just teach you to be basically safer with the gun, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, this is a tool, man. However you want to look at it, this is a tool. So right now, look, I don't have anything loaded, you know. Um, triggers depressed, as you can see. Not all triggers are like that, so keep that in mind. Glock triggers are like that. It's depressed, so you know that there's nothing in here, um, at least not in the chamber. But at the end of the day, this is a tool. So that's how you have to treat this, you know? Like it's a tool, but a tool that you have to be very safe with. And at the end of the day, you know, if you're safe with this tool, you respect this tool, 
you know, this tool could save your life one day, you know, and you may never need to use it, but at the end of the day, we, we never know, which is why we prepare, we train, and we do whatever we can to, you know, abide by those rules and just be ready if something ever was to ha happen or you ever get put in a situation where you got to defend yourself. My fault, yo, I had to cut the camera off real quick, but we back, man, real quick. I'm almost done with this video. I'm going to make it too much longer, but yeah, man, basically, this is a tool. You treat this tool with respect and you abide by it, practice safety rules, do everything you got to do, then this tool will be able to help you keep you protected and like I said potentially save your life one day if you ever get in a situation it's better to have something like this to defend yourself you know because mace and a pocket knife I'm not knocking anybody that carries mace or a pocket knife the way I look at it any weapon that you carry with you on a daily basis is better than nothing but this tool right here will take care of any problems that you might run into whether it be somebody trying to rob you or anything like that you know and like I said these things may never happen man but that's not always necessarily true. We can't go off of that. That's why I say you practice and you do what you got to do. But all those things that I just stated in this video will get you comfortable with being able to carry one in the carry around in the chamber, carry one in the head, one in the pipe, whatever you guys call it. The point is having a loaded gun. You know, I know it could be a little bit nerve wracking for a lot of newcomers and a lot of people that's just starting to carry. But it's really not that bad, man. If you take your time with guns and just really take your time and get to learn firearms and how they operate and things like that you'll be good to go you won't have to worry um like i said it didn't take me long to get comfortable with carrying wood around in the chamber but everybody's different so like i said you know take this video with a grain of salt because you're probably gonna watch another a lot of other videos that talk about carrying wood around in the chamber um and everybody's experience is going to be different everybody's way of how they started getting comfortable with carrying is going to be different so just take my video with a grain of salt because I don't have all the answers. I barely even know what I'm talking about. I'm just giving you all my rundown on my experience, well, how this works for me, and it's been working for me ever since. So that doesn't mean it might work for you or it might work for you. And if it does, hey, man, give the video a thumbs up. But otherwise, I'm not going to say too much more, man. I already made this video a lot longer than what I thought I was. But if y'all want to know anything else, you already know, as always, man, just look me up in the comments, hit me up. Drop a comment and you already know I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But otherwise, I'm going to catch you on the next video, man. Y'all be safe out there.